Ready? Yeah, so, whatever. Mayor de Blasio, drop the appeal. Mayor de Blasio, drop the appeal. Let the Bob family start to heal. Let the Bob family start to heal. Mayor de Blasio, drop the appeal. Mayor de Blasio, drop the appeal. Let the Bob family start to heal. Let the Bob family start to heal. Lord, you are present with us today, and the reason we are here is to seek justice for our past family. Because our son, our nephew, our brother, our grandson, Muhammad Ba, was killed unjustly by NYPD. O oh, Almighty, touch the heart of Ben de Blasio and Police Commissioner O'Neill for them to try and we draw the appeal so that the family, as we mentioned right now, so that the family start to heal. So, my Almighty, God us, be with us, amen. Good afternoon, everyone. It's almost been six years since the NYPD murdered my son Mohammed Ba in the Umbu. NYPD officer shot my son eight times. Officer Mateo fired the last shot as close when, when Mohammed was lying on the ground. Last November, jury for my son's civil suit find Officer Mateo liable using excessive force. Now, Medi Blasio is appealing this jury verdict, forcing my family to remove Mohammed Ba murdering every day. I am here today to call Medi Blasio to stop torturing my family and drop the appeal immediately. Yes. Mohammed Ba was a Muslim man. He was a honor student. He was a taxi driver, a wonderful son. He have never committed a crime in his life. NYPD took him from me on September 25, 2012. Mohammed was sick. I know he needed a help. I called a 911 calling an ambulance to take him to the hospital. The police came instead. Instead of helping him, they treated him like a criminal. They forced their way in Mohammed's apartment without warrant. They shoot him eight times. Officer Mateo fired the last start, shot at close range execution style. I never have any justice for my son, murdering, because the DA and the DOJ Fail to bring any criminal charge. However, last November, some of the truth finally came out during the civil trial. The judge find Officer Mateo a liable 
Finally, after six years of fighting, some of the truth come out. And my family thought we could have some closure. But now, the mayor has true opinion, a word that was only starting healing. I don't understand why Mayor de Blasio putting my family through their suffering. Fighting the civil suit every time we have to return to court. We are suffering to remain unjustly murder my son. It's almost too much to bear, but we keep on fighting because we want the truth to be told. May de Blasio are trying to protect the officer who killed my son. He continued deleting and hiding information about this case. And he is trying to throw out jury, rolling against office material, using excessive force against my son. When our mayor protects the officer who unjustly killed New Yorkers, it sends a message that they can kill us, nothing will happen. That should stop. I am here today to call Mayor de Blasio to draft the appeal for our civil suit immediately. I am going to deliver a letter sending a message asking to meet with him. I want to hear from him face to face why he still continue to make my family suffer and the other family suffer. Thank you. I'd like to now introduce the Bath family's attorney, Randall. The evidence McLaughlin. against Mateo is overwhelming. There is absolutely no merit to an appeal of the verdict against Mateo. In his testimony, Mateo admitted that he called out shoot him, he's stabbing me. At the trial, he was forced to admit under oath that when he said those words, Mr. Ball was not stabbing him or anyone else. In a, in a court of justice, in a criminal court, when you shoot someone and kill them without justification or self-defense, that's called murder. In the civil case, it's called excessive force. In addition, a former New York City chief medical examiner, Dr. Michael Barden, testified that when Mr. Ball was shot in the head, Mr. Ball was a threat to no one, as he had already been shot seven times, and he was laying on his back without a threat to anyone. And that is when Mateo creeped up to him and discharged the fatal bullet. That bullet was, the muzzle of his gun was so close to Mr. Ba's head, about 18 inches away, that the, the wound caused what's, co what's called stippling around the wound. That's a close distance from the head. Why they were appealing this case is a mystery to all of us. This is the first case of its nature that the city, A, took to trial, and B, lost at trial. They've settled countless numbers of cases involving police brutality. The Corporation Counsel of the City of New York, Zachary Carter, when he was the U.S. Attorney in Brooklyn, his office prosecuted the torturers of Abner Louima. 
So police brutality is not an issue he's unfamiliar with. But for some reason, unknown to us, his office and this mayor, the progressive mayor, is choosing to continue to abuse this family, to hang this case over their heads. There will be no closure until this appeal is either dropped or we win. And we will win. There's no question in my mind. This is a focus appeal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, and I thank you, Mrs. Ba, for sharing your emotional testimony. I know it might be it's very hard for you. Um, I'd like to now introduce another speaker of ours. I'd like to introduce Gwen Carr, the mother of Eric Garner. She's here in solidarity with the Ba family. Thank you. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. We stand again. I'm here today to stand um, with Hawaba and her family to call on Mayor de Blasio to drop the appeal in Mohammed Bar's civil case. Mohammed's family has already suffered enough. Uh, it was un it was unjust tragedy for them to kill Mohammed Bar. I'm sorry, to, yes, Mohammed Bar. And now the family is still suffering because that they're bringing an appeal. This is just so, this, this, is, this is crazy. Mohammed's family has gone through so much and the de Blasio administration should drop the appeal and let it rest. The de Blasio administration appealed Mohammed Bar's civil suit in part of a terrible is a terrible pattern of shielding the abusive officers. Just like in my son's case, Eric Garner, for four years we suffered this, and no, none of the, the police officers were held accountable for this. And so now, and they tried to say that they were waiting on the DOJ, which is not true. The DOJ had already given the go-ahead for them to prosecute, to, you know, to go ahead and prosecute and use um, disciplinary actions as they see fit. But they were hiding behind the 58 also to protect the police officers who does this. They protect the police officers who kill our sons. They protect the uh, police officers with abusive records. Just like Dan, Daniel Pantaleo, he had an abusive record before my son. But with the 50A law, this protects them. But now, um, we need to ask Mayor de Blasio to do the right thing by the Barr family and all of our families. He needs to drop the appeal um, of the Bar civil case, and he should fire all the officers in all of our cases who had who did misconduct right. and right. who was abusive to our children. I thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Carr. Another round of applause, please. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Lamumba Mandela, NAACP Legal Defense Fund. Good afternoon. On behalf of the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, we stand here in support of Hawaba and her family in the demand that this administration drop the appeal of the civil suit. This administration has failed this family over and over again. They have failed them from the beginning. The mayor now has an opportunity to stand on the right side of justice. If he chooses, he can switch roads. We are standing with this family and demanding that they drop the appeal. The family needs time to heal. The appeal is continuing to put more undue pressure, pain, and suffering on this family. I ask the administration to look around us today. This is the people of New York City. Who do you stand with? Drop the appeal. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Woo! That's right. So now I'd like to introduce Council Member Antonio Reneso. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Uh, first, I, I just want to say it's unfortunate that we continue to have these press conferences where people of color that uh, die at the hands of the police uh, continue to not find justice. And then when we do seek and find justice through civil suits, 
This administration continues to obstruct that justice. It is extremely unfortunate. Uh, this mayor has been a coward. He's been a coward when it comes to standing up to the NYPD, NYPD when it makes sense. It makes sense to not appeal this decision. It makes sense to move forward with allowing for this family to see, to see the justice that they finally fought for. That's what makes sense. And this administration stands to obstruct. Whether it's with Marley Graham, whether it's Eric Garner, we see families waiting half a decade to get information on what is happening to their children, to their children. Under any other circumstance, by any other means, a normal, uh, thoughtful person would know to move forward and finding justice for those families, for communities of color, to stand up to the NYPD when they make a mistake, when they do wrong. And that doesn't happen here. For this appeal, this is it's amazing, it's unbelievable that there is an appeal when we have a civil suit. We finally go around you. We go around your ridiculous obstacles waiting for DOG to bring justice to these communities. DOJ to bring justice to these communities. Internal practices that we know nothing about behind closed doors. We go around that through a civil suit. We find justice, and you still want to stop that as well. It is unbelievable that this mayor is doing this. So I'm going to stand here saying drop the appeal. And we stand with these families, always stand with these families, until we finally get justice um, against these police officers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Um, now I'd like to introduce two people. The first person I'd like to introduce, introduce is Rama Asa Ibrahim, the Executive Director of the Arab American Association of New York and Representative Communities United for Police Reform. And I'd like to also introduce Saeed Mir Martin Tami, a youth leader from Desi Rising and, and Moving Forward. Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My name is Rama Issa. I'm the Executive Director of the Arab American Association of New York and a member of Communities United for Police Reform. Today we're here standing alongside Mrs. Ba, the mother of Mohammed Ba, who was gunned down six years ago in what should have been the safety of his home after Mrs. Ba called 911 because she wanted medical attention for her son. Instead, the NYPD arrived first, forcibly entered his home against their own protocol and without a warrant. And unfortunately, this happens all too often to those who are experiencing emotional or psychological distress. The police treated Mohammed like a criminal because he was black, immigrant, a Muslim, and in emotional distress. NYPD officers shot Mohammed eight times, the last shot to his head at close range, executional style. It's bad enough that it took over five years for the civil trial to take place, and that even now, the city has taken no action to hold officers accountable or ensure meaningful discipline. It's painful and unjustifiable that Mrs. Ba has to stand here today at a press conference to demand that the Blasio administration drop their unwarranted appeal to the civil suit decision. The jury already found uh, Mateo used excessive force and that Lucitra failed to supervise enabling the death of Mohammed Ba. The fact that the de Blasio administration is prolonging the suffering of this family is indecent and improper, and it's about protecting NYPD officers instead of protecting New Yorkers and our communities from escalation, escalations and violence from police. No amount of money can bring a loved one back or erase the pain that Mrs. Ba and her family continue to experience every day. But it's very simple. The mayor has the power to stop this added anguish and prolonged pain. This is why the Arab American Association of New York and Communities United for Police Reform are here standing as, well, alongside Mrs. Ba in demanding that the de Blasio administration drop this appeal and stop making this family suffer even more than they already have. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, everyone. My name is Tammy. I'm a youth leader at DRUM, Daisy's Rising Up and Moving. And I'm an undocumented Muslim immigrant. DRUM builds the power of working class community, members of the South Asian diaspora, many of who are undocumented and Muslim. We have members who have been targets of various law enforcement agencies, including the NYPD. For us, it is especially important to stand with Mrs. Ba 
and her family as she calls on Mayor de Blasio to drop the appeal against the Mohammed Ba civil lawsuit. We know there is a long history of black folks being murdered by the police and officers never being held accountable for their murders. It is important for us as South Asian and Indo-Caribbeans to build solidarity with the black community as the police continue taking our community members away from us through mass incar incarceration or murder. Drum was founded in 2000 and our very first action was to protest the killing of Amadou Diallo, who was a black immigrant that was shot 41 times by the NYPD in his apartment in the Bronx. We joined the families of Eric Gardner, Delron Small, Shahid Vassell, and other black folks killed by the NYPD to call on the city to give them justice. Mayor de Blasio has a pattern of shielding abusive NYPD officers who have unjustly taken the lives of black and brown New Yorkers. He continues to misinterpret State Law 58, the police secrecy law, in order to protect abusive officers and hide their disciplinary records. We are, de we are demanding that de Blasio end this pattern and that he immediately drop the Mohammed Ba civil suit. Mohammed's family has suffered for too long. De Blasio should let his family rest and respect the decision of the New Yorkers who served on the jury for the trial by the dropping of appeal. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'd like to introduce Yael Shafritz, Jews from Jews from Racial and Economic Justice. Hi, my name is Yael. I'm a member of Jews for Racial and Economic Justice. And we're here today to stand with Hawa Ba and her family and call on Mayor de Blasio to drop the Mohammed Ba civil suit. As you've heard from many today, this is yet another case of injustice from an administration that cares more about protect protecting the NYPD than seeing justice for our black, Muslim, and immigrant communities. Mohammed Ba was an immigrant, a black man, and a Muslim, and because of this, he was targeted by the NYPD. As Jews, we understand how it is to be a stranger, marginalized, and targeted. That is why we stand with our Muslim immigrant and black siblings against the profiling that has led to the murder of so many like Mohammed Ba. But not only did de Blasio refuse to prosecute Mohammed's killers, but he is now using that, his power to block justice from being done through the civil courts by appealing their decisions. In Judaism, we are taught we must not only care for the stranger, but we must apply the same laws of justice to all members of the community. We must not have two systems of justice. In the Bible, it says, when, and when throughout the ages a stranger takes up residence with you, or one who lives among you, the same rule shall apply to you and to the stranger who resides among you. In other words, having two systems of justice is no justice at all. The Barr family has suffered enough. Hawa and her family, they deserve justice. We demand de Blasio respect the New Yorkers who sat on the jury for the civil suit, respect the families, and drop the appeal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, now I'd like to introduce Eric Vassell, father of Saeed Vassell, and Joshua Lopez, nephew of John Colado. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Eric Vassell. I'm the father of Saeed Vassell. My son was murdered by the New York Police Department on July the 4th, 2018. In the space of five seconds, they shot him 10 times while he was going about his business. I'm here standing with Ms. Barr today asking for justice for his son. I understand her sleepless night for all these years. I understand her the pain that she's going through. I understand the hours of grievance that she's been going through. Today I'm asking Anne Mayor Brazio to drop the civil lawsuit so the Bar family can live in peace and be happy again. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Anne Joshua Lopez, I am the nephew of John Colado. My family is currently um, fighting a civil suit that just began on Monday. And um, I spoke with my, my uncle's widow and she has stated to me that she just wants uh, this to be over with. So um, I'm, I'm over here standing in solidarity with Mohammed Ba's family and asking the mayor to drop his appeal because I know, I know um, what, um, too, too well um, how, how the suffering of a family member can be. Um, and 
and going going back and forth to court, it, it can it can wear you down and stuff. So we're asking Mayor De Blasio to stop his appeal, and it's a shame for him to be appealing this case. Thank you. Finally, I'd like to introduce Reverend Raymond River, uh, Rivera to lead a closing prayer. As, as I pray uh, this afternoon, on behalf of the faith community, the Michael clergy table that they are, Rabbi Michael Feinberg and Reverend Cartagena and other I stand here as a Christian minister. I stand here as a Christian minister and yes. and as uh, Jewish rabbis uh, supporting the Bob family and Muslims from the Michael clergy table also. And to mother, let me just give you a, a word of life before I pray. In our faith tradition, um, there is there is power. There's the power of Nat Turner and John Brown that here. rebelled during the times of slavery. Right. Here, here. There's the power of Martin Luther King and the civil rights and the civil rights movement that rose against Jim Crow segregation. Right. There's the power of the women's suffrage movement that rise up and, and acquired uh, rights for women. There's the Me Too movement. There's the young people's movement against uh, gun violence. And, and we stand with all of those groups and we stand with you because we believe that there's power in the faith community and, and together we will uh, overcome. As I uh, conclude this prayer and stand in solidarity with my fellow clergy, let me be very, very clear. In our faith community, there are narratives in our sacred texts of the Bible where our communities were persecuted and the imagery that was used was beasts and dragons that came against this early faith community. These communities understood that this imagery of beasts and dragons was really the state and, that, and they understood that it was the imagery and I want you to know that some of us here don't understand why the, the state or why the mayor or why the president does this. It's because sometimes the state becomes nothing less than beasts and dragons. And I say this afternoon, fight the beast. Come on, let's say it. Fight the beast. Fight the dragon. Fight the dragon. Fight the dragon. Fight the beast. Fight the beast. Fight the dragon. Fight the dragon. And as we do that, we rely on our faith. Our faith will ultimately our scriptures of old and new testament say that the dragon and the beast will be ultimately defeated Amen. yes we pray in our various traditions i'm going to pray then rabbi will pray and then our brother iman will pray lord we pray for mother ba her family FBOs and CBOs and just unaffiliated people, but they all stand for justice. We pray that your power will cover her and give us strength to carry on. Amen. And the Victoria, come on the Victoria. The Victoria siempre. Freedom, El Na Rafan Allah. May God give. And we know that the true comfort and true consolation is through justice some measure of justice that they finally won after many years through the civil justice and toward compassion to this family and to all families who've suffered at the hands of police by this together in all of our faith stands. Amen. Amen. Justicia para la familia va, para todos los familias que han perdido un hijo o hija for the justicia de la sistema, specifically la police. Fight the beast! Fight the beast! Fight the dragon! Fight the beast! Fight the beast! Fight the dragon! Fight the dragon! Amen! 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 Amen. Okay.